One of our recent acquisitions through donations was a Kenwood TS700S. And what this is, is an all-mode uh, two-meter radio. So we can do CW, upper and lower sideband, AM, and FM. And give you a nice little close-up on it here, see if it focuses. Okay. A little bit more control than uh, your uh, standard uh, Baofeng radio or uh, even uh, Yesu, you know, you know, FT2900 and so on and so forth. And uh, here's a picture of what the inside is looking like. We could even put uh, some fixed channels down here, put some crystals down here, and have fixed channel operation, which would be extremely stable. There's already a set of crystals here. I think these are just references for the uh, uh, voltage synthesizer for the uh, for the PLL. Um, I haven't read through the manual entirely yet, uh, but it does have full alignment procedures and everything else. I don't. We have not gone over this radio yet, so we don't know exactly uh, what kind of shape it's in. But I think this would be pretty close to being put on the air. The only thing I don't, we don't have is we don't have a PL or a CTCSS tone generator in here. Uh, so we would have to stick either with simplex or with repeaters that don't have um, the ability to, uh, or don't have a PL tone. I think like the... Um, uh, Bloomfield Amateur Radio Club, uh, Barron's, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, that that is a completely open repeater. So we'd be able to access that repeater. However, what I'm looking at is there is a ability, let's see here. Of course, it's dark. Um... See if I can pull this radio out here. See this uh, this tone box here. This box will allow us to generate the PL tone. And I don't know if this one was working because the last time I tried putting this on the air, someone said there's a uh, there's a lot of noise, a lot of uh, tone squeal you're not supposed to be able to hear that tone so uh i know there are those uh, kits out there and i think we might be able to uh, uh insert that in with the uh with with that kenwood radio which i think would be really really nice because then we could use this uh for repeater operation as well here's a picture of the back and right here so over here we got the antenna oh come on focus for me please thank you got the antenna you got a grounding heat sink over here I was reading a uh, manual that is a it says tone pad what that is is for an auto patch, so we could hook it into the phone line. That's for a CW key. Uh, external speaker, 8 ohm. ALC input. Uh, I'm assuming you could probably have that come off of a off an HF. Maybe even use this as a as a transverter. Uh, he, here you have a. Uh, uh, what is that? Something Maker RL Make. I could not find a whole lot that in the manual, although I have not read all the manual either. This would be if we had an external VFO. The earlier models, the 700A, that was the Vox circuit. 
that this needs to be in there. Otherwise, uh, it will never uh, go into transmit because the transmit would be uh, permanently blocked. Uh, I'm assuming that's the same thing with if we uh, don't have an external VFO to plug in there, we need that in there. Fuse and the power. So we're going to have to make up a power uh, power jack. And then this is a switch go between uh, 110 and 220. And it's protected to go stay on 110 right now. And then over here you have a couple transistors that um, are power transistors. And this, uh, this little shield here protects them and also provides a bit of a heat sink. But uh, this is a really nice radio. I have a little bit of rust on the top, but I'm not really concerned about that. I don't think that's... I think that's more cosmetic than anything else. I want to get this thing on the air. I was thinking it might be interesting to put this with packet, but it, it's such a such a nice unit that I'd rather see it in a, in actual operation. So, but uh, anyhow, so that is uh, that is something that we acquired, and we are looking to get uh, operational.